Uh, starting off with the unhooking mat, uh, which is made of a very uh, smooth material here, no rough edges on it, uh, zipped up. It can also double up as a weighing bag. You can uh, put in your weighing scales here, put your pike inside, close them up, zip them up, and uh, take its weight. Uh, you can de it's essentially a de-hooking mat, and uh, you place your pike straight out of the net onto the hooking map and uh, you start your procedure. I like to keep a hold on the fish all the time. I usually do that with my uh, index finger under the gill cleft and restrain the pike accordingly. Uh, sometimes you may, you may need to actually cover the pike slightly and uh, to keep them from, from moving any further. Uh, when I effected that release, I used um, a long nose pliers at this machine here. And this is a very strong, very powerful uh, piece of equipment and uh, very good for taking out baits, baits quite quickly and uh, with little damage to the pike. Uh, I also use a long nose forceps, that's for going deeper, uh, a useful tool also. And this tool here is for uh, keeping the, m the mouth of the pike open when uh, you're de-hooking. Usually not needed, but uh, sometimes uh, pike just refuse to open their mouth. If the hooks are embedded, I tend not to take them out. I tend to cl cut them very close to the barb and uh, these will do no harm to the pike. They will, they will eventually fall out. Um, this equipment is uh, not very expensive. It's quite inexpensive in fact and is an essential for all pike anglers. You must have it and you must handle your pike with care. And as you saw from the release there, that fish went away with no harm, no blood, no damage at all to the fish. It, as far as I'm concerned, it's a very, very good release.